Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another ChatGPT tutorial. It's your boy, Ojama Garrett. Before we get into it, I just want to ask everybody to please like and subscribe. Please smash that like button. Please share. Please do whatever. I'm really trying to grind, trying to get you guys content that you can need or that you want, you, know, you need. I'm really trying to serve. This is another uh, tutorial, another tip, another strategy, another thing, another uh, thing I use ChatGPT for, and I really think it uh, adds a lot of value to my life. So let's just jump right into it. So the concept I want to talk about today is ChatGPT, how to beat your friend in debates. Okay. So me and my friends, we argue about everything. It's really annoying. Um, but a lot of the time, I don't like going to tap tit for tat with them because my friends and stuff what's what's we start like arguing depending on the context not saying i'm not trying to paint with a broad stroke here but i'm sure we all have friends that like they like to add, act in bad faith you know they, they like to mock they like to rally you know get the group to all talk crap you know what i mean like shame you instead of actually engaging the debate um you know they it, there's just a slew of bad faith things that happen in an argument not a lot of people take a lot of time maybe you know maybe it's just me maybe you're the friend that is doing that if you are whatever you know stop that anyway uh so if you're trying to form argumentation for an argument that you think you're right on um what i like to do is take the debate pull it out and then plug it into chat gpt you know either ask you questions about something or um ask you questions about something or just you know generally just you know have a debate against me so where should we start anyway so like i'm just going to take a topic i was just arguing with my friend about pride i think i have the position that pride all pride is bad he has the position that most pride is bad some pride is good the only pride that's bad is bad pride and there's good pride and not everything is absolutely black and white or whatever so we have a uh, issue you know we disagree so the first thing i would do i mean when we were arguing about it and stuff like that it didn't seem very uh we disagree, but you know, it's not about disagreeing. It's that the, the conversation, you, you pretty much this only, you know, it, you can prep for an argument. You can use ChatGPT to prep for an argument, but more so I use this for is to like really find the truth to a matter, you know, try to try to be right. So the, my first advice to how to win an argument using ChatGPT is change your frame. It's not about beating your opponent. You need to change your brain to say, I want to be right. My goal, my objective here is to be right. Cause for me personally, so a little anecdote, little uh, personal story here a little personal you know whatever um i want to be right how i operate when i go day to day like i have like this like a lot of people don't like me or not <laughs> yeah i mean that's true but anyway um a lot of people one of the things one of the criticisms of me is that i you can't ever beat me in a debate and it's like you can never win with me is so what they mean is that i'll never give up that's that's what they're saying because i never give up in a debate you can never beat me in a debate and they're unhappy with that because i don't ever back down if i think i'm right I, I don't ever back down. And that's just because I have this like need. It isn't like uh, a pride issue here, obviously, since I disagree. I mean, I have pride. Everybody has pride anyway. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the, uh, I, I need to be right because it's like, to me, my logic, my reasoning is that if I'm not right, I'm operating on unright things. So then if I'm operating on unright things, that means that I'm going to fall into a pitfall that's going to like, if I'm operating on something that is silly or not in make-believe, then it's not survival. It's not like, cause I, I don't know. I've been raised kind of like tough, like kind of like uh, every, in a constant panic, uh, constant anxious uh, survival mode. And like, that's just kind of evolved me to be kind of evolved me to be like, I need to be right about everything so that I, I don't die. Essentially. It's like more or less that. So like, that's like kind of my primal um, reasoning for becoming a, my primal reason for wanting to be right about everything. So, but it has that framework sorry rant aside that framework is so um powerful because it isn't about beating your friend because then you're going to get frustrated because they're never going to give up or whatever if you're in those types of arguments especially if like bad faith is at play um uh you're going to get frustrated but if it's just about being right you're able to then pull the conversation out plug it into gpt and then get closer to the truth like that's what being right is it's about getting to the truth or whatever and then you're able to argue with a lot more tenacity you're are you, you're able to not give up and you're able to like walk away from the argument even if you haven't convinced the other person not caring because you're just looking to be right you're not looking to defeat anybody you just need to be right you know what i mean so there's that that's step one long wind has ran aside step two is let's plug it into chat gpt so now there's there's two ways you can go about it you could pull the you could pull the conversation from wherever you're arguing from you know or you could like try to remember it from what you said and then just have it try to like criticize them but then you could be like, what I do kind of is just kind of try to get like, uh, what are pros and cons? I get a pro and con. So what are the, uh, strong, I say strongest, strongest arguments that you can think of for, 
pride being good and strongest arguments for pride. Oops, sorry, I spelled that wrong. Uh, being bad. Okay, so something like that. You you want you don't want you want ChatGPT to take a neutral position here, and it tries to most of the time. So you you want to get both sides right away. You don't just try to go for your thing right away. You just you want to read both sides. Try to see the other part, person's point of view. So the concept of pride can be viewed from various perspectives, often contingent on cultural, ethical, and individual context. True, but you know, whatever. Not not here to like the the, co the argument here isn't the point of this video. The point of the video is to show you how to like little strategies to get towards something. You know. So you got five reasons here for it being good. Five reasons for being bad. So then we'll just read through. It's good. Self-esteem and confidence, pride when grounding in genuine accomplishments or qualities can foster healthy. Da, 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 da. It motivates individuals to recognize their worth and capabilities, contributing to amounts of well-being. Uh, motivation and achievement. Pride can be a powerful motivator. The desire to feel proud of oneself can drive people to achieve their goals, excel in their fields, and make meaningful contributions to society. Sure. Yeah, sure. Fair enough. I mean, okay. So, so social recognition and bonding. Expressing pride in one's community, culture, or group achievements can foster a sense of belonging and solidarity. It's often used to celebrate. So, okay. We have... Those are pretty good arguments. Pretty good arguments. I will give... Those are all great. Great arguments for being bad. Arrogance and egoism. Excessive pride can lead to arrogance. Sure. Okay. See? It's it's doing a good job. See what I mean? Like, it's, it's already addressing the thing from... Uh, one and one are lined up. They're addressing each other. Inflexibility. Resistance to learning. Proud individuals may become resistant to feedback or learning from mistakes. They may reject constructive criticism. Leading to stagnation and personal and professional growth. And blah, blah, blah. Yep. So, you'd be like, these are both good you know what i'm saying so then what i would do then to like use chat gpt to continue this is like say i am on the offense like i am on the defensive or i disagree with this position so then essentially what i would do is though i'm going to respond i'd like to push back on blah 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 you know what i mean i'll respond to each number you know what I mean? Okay, so like that. So I would take uh, number one and I just put one in. And I'd say, yeah, pride when grounded in genuine accomplishments or qualities can foster a healthy sense of self esteem and confidence, motivates individuals. Okay, so essentially, I'll just actually just make my mind position. But what I would do is just like, I'd respond to each answer and then just like move the conversation. You know what I mean? So then, like, ChatGPT is going to argue against you, especially with simple concepts like this, a lot better than most of your friends are going to because, and me, a lot better than I can do. You know, this is a learning experience for you. And if you could do this, you know, in your free time, really just pump up your argumentation, like learn new things and stuff like that, you're going to be a lot, you're going to have a lot more experience in the argument, in the debate, in the conversation. Plus you'll be able to preemptively be able to respond to points you're, they're probably going to make, especially if you had an argument about a topic that you've had lots of times. That's how, like, when you see your internet argue people, your internet debate me bros, they're ready for a lot of, like, they'll do, I think, I've watched a lot of their streams, they'll do, like, coaching sessions on how to, like, handle questions and how to, what arguments to bring up in certain contexts and stuff like that to appear, appear more optical because debating is a sport to them now, so it's more like getting wins than finding the truth. But anyway, yeah. So this is kind of that strategy. You know what I mean? So you'll have both sides. Then essentially you'll respond to each. Not to repeat myself a million times, but you'll respond to each one and then just continue the conversation and just go back and forth. Um, just argue with ChatGPT. So for instance, I'll just I'll just push back a little bit. Uh, pride when grounded in genuine accomplishments or qualities can foster a healthy health, self-esteem and confidence and motivates individuals to recognize their worth and capabilities, contributing to mental well-being. Yes, but isn't it superficial? worth and is that worth the risk of becoming too excessively arrogant hurting those around you and then just see what it says so you're concerned about the product you know what i mean so it, it, it's it 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 validates whatever you say, no matter what, most of the time. So don't think that it's going to give you a smoking gun that's going to convince people. Like, ChatGPT is going to validate what you say. But that, in arguing with your friends and just dealing with, like, bad faith individuals and stuff like that, this does have value because, like, it does, like, 
take a little stress off because even if it is, is it is a robot even being validated by a super intelligent robot does feel good you know what i mean like a lot of the times when you're arguing with your friends and stuff it isn't even like to me personally it's not even about being right it's just about respect and like the fact that like most of the time in arguments and stuff like that like your friends won't even validate your positions by like trying to understand them they just poop all over them or drag them like just the simple validation here is a lot of value. I, I, I'm just I'm just realizing that in the middle of this video, and I'm glad I could bring that up because, like, if you're arguing with your friends, try to validate their positions, try to respect them, try to be positive. You know what I mean? Like, it's an argument. You're you're hunting for being right. You know what I mean? You're not trying to just decimate them. It's, it has nothing to do with like being better than them or worse than them or whatever. I mean, like, that's what, in my opinion, you should try to focus an uh, argument about. This video is kind of skewed away, but I mean, I think I've already hit the main crux of how to use this. Uh, little tutorial and I'm just going to go on this little side tangent rant because I think it's positive so uh, yeah there's that um, so you know this is just an example of just like ChatGPT is going to be able to teach you about any subject that you want to argue about better than anything any any product any product or any conversation you're going to have with your friends it's essentially the main crux of this video and I'm going to try to keep it short so essentially if you want to get good at uh, arguing with ChatGPT plug your conversation in plug your conversation in about your thing if you don't have the conversation like plug your conversation in and say can you criticize uh can you give me pros and cons for both of these arguments like this or just take the topic of the argument and then just get both sides of the story if you see something wrong start pushing back on chat gpt and it's going to try to give it to you you know what i mean as long as you're like looking for the correct answer not just trying to get chat gpt to tell you you're right, buddy, because eventually if you pressed it hard enough, it's just going to tell you you're right. But this is like a very good um, strategy for winning arguments. Like, and yeah, I mean, I, there's not much more to say about this. I guess I thought this would be a longer video, but I hope this is helpful. And uh, I'm going to, you know, maybe the next video I make about this will be just like uh, something like I'll, I'll put together a few different topics just to get a little bit of length to it so that. You don't have to click around, but for now, this will do. I'm just trying to get content out that I think is valuable. So I hope this helps somebody. Have a nice day. Um, peace out.